Yeah. So, Andrew, did you have something? No, I said it's been quiet. It's been quiet. Yes, indeed, it has. Um, so, well, first up on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from our March meeting. So, does anybody have any corrections or comments about the minutes? Nope. nope. Look good. Look good. All right. All in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. 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 Great. All right. And even the update shouldn't take very long. So first was the, uh, I forwarded to you earlier today, the forest cutting plan that we received. And uh, it's for property owned by Michael Boyle off of uh, Westbrook Road. I looked it over when it had arrived. It didn't, I, nothing struck me as out of order. We don't really have jurisdiction, but we have an opportunity to comment if there's anything on the cutting plan that we find concerning. So um, generally I review these when they come in and rarely do I ever make a comment, but uh, once in a while I do. Anybody have any questions or concerns about that? No, I, I looked it over too, it looked fine to me. Yeah, that was a copy that was sent to me by DCR. So apparently they've already approved the cutting plan and, and yeah. sent it off. So. Yeah. Uh, second piece, second update is, is that I got our annual letter from Keith Morris on behalf of Berkshire and Eastern Railroad, letting us know that they're about to commence post-emergent herbicide application. Um, uh, low pressure spray application by track mounted high rail truck. Purpose of the application is to control nuisance vegetation in the ballast portion of the railroad right of way and around switches and signals. This is all part of a yearly operating operational plan, which is sort of an annual thing they 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 put on record uh, that's part of a five year vegetation management plan. So. <laughs> Usually when the vegetation management plan comes around, we they have to file an, uh, a request for a determination for us to approve the wetland uh, mapping and delineation along the railroad tracks. Other than that, we really don't have much for jurisdiction. So um, at this point, it's just notification. When do they when do they do this soon? Um it's going to start on or after May 1st and conclude around the end of August. Okay. And uh, says specific date application will depend upon scheduling and weather conditions, a mixture of the herbicides Aquanit, OpenSight, Polaris AC Complete, and MSO Extra will be applied via low pressure spray application. Okay. Generally, what I found is that they always list um, things that are acceptable to use in and around wetlands and water, uh, but there's a setback away from any standing water that they flag. It, basically, they have uh, markers on the railroad tracks that tell them when to stop spraying and when to start up again. And so, you know, every five years, I either walk or ride my bicycle along the railroad tracks in order to check to see where their marks are. If I have any questions, I, I bring it up with them before they uh, finalize their plan. And then the third item has to do with that driveway at uh, 54 State Road that I brought up at our last meeting. Uh, turns out, I guess it's not such an emergency because it took them a while to get back to me. Uh, but this week I did get an email saying that they're gonna proceed with replacing the culvert and they're trying to get cost estimates for doing it. Uh, she said it could be a culvert or a bridge. Uh, I wrote back and made sure she was aware of the requirement to meet the stream crossing standards to the maximum extent practicable. And then I looked up under the guidance that's still pending at DEP, you know, how much extra cost would she be expected to pay? And I passed that on as well in the email that I sent along. Um, the, the baseline for 
meeting the crossing standards to the maximum extent practical practicable is to meet certain design floods and for driveways it's a 10 year storm and then uh, anything that goes beyond 10% above that in cost is considered not practicable uh, based on the stream quality and the amount of habitat that would likely be opened up, you know, by putting in a better crossing there. Uh, so I provided that information, haven't heard back, but that was, uh, I provided that earlier today, but I also indicated that at this stage, they would need to submit a notice of intent uh, so I'm expecting that that will show up at some point, probably for our next meeting, but I don't really know. And those are my updates. Any questions, comments? No. 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 All right. Any other business? Was was the other one from Sylvie? It was that other email. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for getting that. I forgot that one completely. Yeah, so we, you know, we brought up the idea of, uh, you know, managing town lands for butterflies, uh, for pollinators, sorry. Um, so I guess they're going to go forward and 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 seek a grant to, uh, to do that. Uh, we recommended some possible locations for them to look at. <clears throat> so um, I don't see any reason why we can't write a letter of support for the application, but I I put it before you all about what you think about it. That's a good thing. I support it. Yeah. Yep. You're good with that, Ann? I am, yes. Yep. Okay. All right. I will draft a letter and send it out. It looks like they need it really soon. Uh, so I'll see if I can get to it tomorrow. If you want, I will cut a CCU when I send it out or not, depending on what you prefer. Okay. I trust you to write a good letter. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for bringing that up. That was actually the one wow. thing that we really did need to sort of agree on. I just uh, just besides the minutes. <laughs> All right. Well, that's all I have. So I guess it will be another short meeting, but eventually this is going to catch up with us sometime. And then yeah. We're probably right in the middle of summer when we're busy with other things. We'll have like a two hour meeting where we have to go through a variety yeah. of uh, business before us. But probably what Norris or something? They had that greenhouse. No, they, that was out of the way. That was out of the wetlands, wasn't it? Yeah, they kept it completely out of our jurisdiction so they didn't have to come to us. So, yeah. uh, all right. Well, thanks everybody for coming out and, um, I'll let you know if anything comes up in the meantime. Otherwise, we'll see you at our May meeting. Okay. Hey, thank, thank you. you. All right. See you then. All Bye. right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.